Hi guys, I'm Alicia. Welcome back to the Bar and Body Studio. For today's workout, we are focusing on a leg workout using a yoga block and your Pilates ball. So let's get warmed up through that body. So just grab hold of your yoga block. You are going to take your feet hip distance apart. Inhale, exhale, rolling those shoulders back and down. Knees are just nice and soft here. Inhale, exhale, you have four. For three, for two, go. We're gonna start with a squat and a kick back. Here we go, we drop, exhale, kick, inhale, low, exhale, kick. So as you kick back, you want to lead with your heel, exhale, drop in the abs, inhale, exhale. So we are focusing on legs today, thigh workout. So we are just going to lower, uh, warm up through your lower body. Inhale, exhale for four. Squeeze through those glutes. Three, squeeze, two more. Good, last one. You are gonna come into a drop and hold, draw belly button to your spine. Your right leg, you step it out an inch, in an inch, left. Out an inch, in an inch. Exhale, inhale, step it out. Step it in, step it out. So just stay nice and low here, draw belly button into the spine. Just to protect your lower back, you just have four more here. Step it out, in, step it out, in two more. Good, last one, feet hip distance apart. Oh, you go, push with that block, pull with the block. Exhale, we are just alternating the heels here, lifting up, lift, lift, eight, seven. Just warming up through those ankles. Good, two and one. Just rest that block on your thighs, tuck your tailbone just to stretch out that lower back. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, just release through that body. Good, so hopefully you've got a little bit more warm through that body. You are going to use your yoga block here and place it on the floor. Now I am just going to face a profile to you just so you can see what I am doing here. So I'm placing that block on the floor. I don't mind which side you start on. Good, my left leg is going on that block. Okay, so you want to start with your feet hip distance apart. I'm gonna face so you can see me here. Now I've turned around to you, my right leg is going to be on the block. So you want feet hip distance apart. The leg that is on the block is just going to be naturally bent. Okay, we're gonna take that ball to the heart. You're gonna exhale, sit back into a squat. Inhale, you come back to center. Exhale, push it back. Inhale, you come back to center. Exhale, push it back. Inhale, keep on with this guys. Here we go, we push for two, then lift for two. Exhale, drop for two. Now as you drop back into that squat, you wanna make sure your knees the one that is flat to the floor. Make sure that your knee is in line with your ankle. So you don't want to be sitting and pushing your knees forwards over those toes. So just be conscious here. Lift for two, two more. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift. Last one, you're gonna drop into that uh, squat hold, draw that belly button in. Heel lifts, it lowers, it lifts, it lowers. Good, so you are stabilizing through that leg that is on the block. You exhale, lift it, lower, lift. So a nice isometric hold here. Now be conscious of the abdominals. You have to engage them, draw them up to the back, the spine to protect that lower back here. Now make sure that your upper body is not too far forward. You just want to be inclined on that diagonal. Let's go, eight, seven, six, five. Let's go for four, for three, for two, good, you're gonna lower that heel down, eye line is forward, little pulses drop. Now make sure both of the, uh, the body weight is even through both of your feet here. Good, can you drop a little bit low without dropping through the chest? Good, exhale, little pulse, little drop. Keep pulsing, start to lift that heel now. Yes, let's go, we pulse, we drop, we pulse, we drop. Good team, let's go eight more counts here. Eight, seven, six, for five, for four. Now the leg that the heel is raised, you are gonna take your ball in your hand, other hand is to your hip. You're gonna take a small step back. We drop the ball, we exhale, step it in, ball to the ceiling. Now I'm staying low on that standing leg. Take it out, take it in. That leg is always bent. I'm slightly inclined, my abs are fired up. I'm pulling that belly button into the spine. Little cardio burst here, let's go eight. Woo, I'm taking my body weight back into the ball of the foot that is stepping back. Four more, let's go. Four, 
for three, Woo, for two. Last one. You are going to take a deep breath in here. You exhale, you take a nice big wide step back because you're gonna come into a lunge. Sacking the shoulders on top of the hips, bringing that ball back to the chest. You drop an inch, lift an inch, little drop, a little lift. Exhale, inhale, little drop. Now you make this tiny hit. So you've released through that extending glute a little bit there. Little drop, little lift, little drop, little lift. Woo! Good, you have four more team, let's go. Four, good, these are tiny, make them count. Two more, last one, you drop and you hold it. The leg, wrap in, wrap in, little drop, little drop, wrap in. Now the reason why we are using the ball here, it just helps to stabilize through your center. We go squeeze, squeeze, we go drop, we go drop, we go squeeze. Again, if you um, need to hold on to something, you can. You can do this at the, at the chair, at the table. It is entirely up to you. Two more, we wrap, we wrap, we drop, we drop. Last one, we wrap, we wrap, we drop. We just pulse it down here, sending that ball just above the eye line. Exhale, we pulse, good. Now make sure that knee is right underneath that hip. You are drawing those abs in tight. You should be getting a nice deep burn through the front of that thigh here. Eight, seven, six, for five, yes team. Four, for three, for two, woo! Good, shake off those legs. Good, you are going to turn around here. We're gonna come straight into that other side. Good, so at least you know what to expect now. Good, so just take a nice deep breath in. So that other foot is going onto that block. I'm gonna turn around and start by facing you. Ooh, let me face this way. Good, inhale. So prepare, exhale, we drop for two, we lift. So make sure here that everything is parallel. Good, like train tracks, everything is tracking in line. Again, as you sit back into your squat, your knee wants to be in line with that ankle. So make sure you're not pushing forward over those toes. You wanna to get into that butt and those thighs. Woo, we go, drop for two, we lift. Keep pushing team, I'm right here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Let's go, team. We go, drop for two. We lift. Now, again, as we squat, make sure we connect to the core. You want to zip it up to the spine. Two more. Good. Last one. You drop, drop, hold it, left. Good. That heel lifts now. We go, lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale. So think about strengthening through the ankles here, just working through the calf. Those hips, they are square. As you lift the heel, you wanna draw up through those abs. Let's go, we lift, we lower, we lift, we lower. You just have four more here, let's go for four. Stay long and lifted through the crown of the head, team. Last one, you lower that heel, you just start to pulse it out. Now again, body weight is just nice and even through both of those feet. Legs are like train tracks. Just glance down, is your knee in line with your ankle or is it over the toes? If it is, just push your tailbone back and down. Pressing those shoulders away from your ears. Keep breathing here. Start to float your heel off the ground. Woo, let's go, we pulse, we drop, we pulse, we drop. You just have eight more team, let's go. Eight, seven, six, four, five. We go four, we go three, we go two. You hold it, so the heel that is lifted, you take that ball in that hand, you step it back, you step it in, step it back, step it in. You stay soft on that standing leg, so that leg stays bent. It's just a small lunge here as we step back. Good. You're gonna start to wake up through that glute. You've probably already felt it now. Just keep breathing through those movements. Six, five, woo, four, three, two, Good, last one, you take a deep breath in. You exhale, take a nice big wide step back. Those feet still want to be hip distance apart. That knee underneath your hips, set those shoulders. Little drop, little lift. Drop an inch, lift an inch. Exhale, inhale. Woo, good, now corset is in nice and tight. Use that ball, squeeze it a little bit just to help find your center. Exhale, little drop, little lift, 
Little drop, little lift, keep smiling team. I am right here with you. You just have four more, let's go. You drop an inch, lift an inch, drop an inch, lift an inch. Two more, last one. You drop and you hold it. You start to wrap, squeeze, squeeze, drop. So this is the leg that is wrapping now. Find that inner thigh muscle. Let's go, we go wrap it in, wrap it in, drop, drop. We go squeeze it in, squeeze it in, drop, drop. Keep pushing, squeeze, squeeze. Stay focused, stay strong, team. Woo! You just have four more counts. Let's go. We squeeze, we squeeze, we drop, we drop. Good. Breathe and blow. Stay focused. Two more. Last one, team. And then we just start to pulse it down. Make sure your back heel is lifted, lifting that ball just over the top of the eye line. Keep drawing that belly button in to the spine. Give me 10, nine. Spot that eye line. So important. Six, five, four, three, two. Woo! Oh, good work, team. Shake off those legs. Just place down your ball, give your legs a shake off. We're gonna to come to our stretch. Good work, team. Shaking off those legs, your feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, exhale. Just rolling those shoulders back and down. Breath to movement, because we wanna get that breath back. Filling up those lungs. Good, inhale, exhale. You take your feet a little bit wider and your toes are nice and parallel. You're gonna take your hands on your hips, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're just gonna to start to tip your upper body forward, so you're gonna hinge forward. Ooh, pushing your tailbone back, good. When you start to feel that stretch through the back of the legs, just hold it here. Good, if it's available, you can take your hands onto the thighs, but not to the knees or just take a full fold forward, let the head hang. Now try not to let the body weight just hang too far through the heels here. You wanna make sure that body weight is just even through the balls of the feet. Good, soften the knees, gently start to roll up through the spine. Good, shake off those legs. Good, grab hold of something, I'm gonna hold onto my bar here. Soften through your knees. Just grab hold of that leg. So knee is nice and soft. Shoulders are stacked on top of the hips here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, start to draw your belly button in. Start to pull your working leg. You wanna pull that thigh slightly back, but do not tip that body forward. You gotta pull that thigh back. You gotta squeeze your butt. Good, so just find that nice squeeze here. Really pull that foot towards the glute. You're gonna find that stretch through the front of the thigh. Good, inhale, as you exhale, extend your leg. Again, just incline forward, hinge forward from the hips. That leg wants to just be nice and long. Good, feet are hip distance apart. Again, just tuck the tailbone, gently roll up. I'm gonna come onto this side. So feet are hip distance apart, knees are soft. Inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Tuck your tailbone and just grab hold of that other foot. So everything is stacked here. Start to draw your belly button to the spine, then start to pull your leg slightly back. So again, make sure that standing leg is not straight. Just wants to be nice and soft so you can tuck that tailbone. Really squeeze that foot to the glute and you're gonna get a nice stretch through the, back, through the front of that thigh. Good, inhale as you exhale. Take that leg forward, just incline. Good. Feet are hip distance apart. Just grab your block on the way up. Good. Feet are hip distance apart, so a little bit closer than they were before. You're going to reach that block to the ceiling. As you exhale, just hinging forward, hinging forward, hinging forward, hinging forward. Taking that body weight evenly through the feet. So try not to sit back into the heels or the hips. Again, you can use that block here. That's why we grab that block. If you need to, you just place it long ways. You can place it flat. If you don't need the block, you can take your hands either side. Again, just feet are a little bit closer together here. Now lifting one heel off the ground, you gently lower it down. Exhale, lift the other heel off the ground. Again, breathe through the movements here. Perfect. And again, soften those knees, gently roll up through the spine. Head is the last thing to come up. Take a deep breath in. 
exhale, bring your palms to prayer and give yourselves a clap. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Feeling good, feeling strong in that lower body. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what you thought of this workout.